the Batman on HBO Max, so you guys should go watch it. What? I can't hear you, Edward. Ah, yeah. fuck. I'm pissed off that the, uh... Wait, the... screw in a little more. Oh. Excuse me? No. <laughs> it turned this way, oh. so your uh, knees... This way? No, no, the other way. Oh. <laughs> so your knees fit in. My knees don't fit. There we go. I have thick your knees. knees. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then? Uh, the, I hate that the the Batman uh, podcast that they came out with, uh, what's it called? Uh, Batman Audio Adventures. With the actual actors or no? Uh, I don't know. I was like, of course not. In of my course head, not. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's actually really good. I really enjoy it. it. It's this one part where it's like Batman confuses. No, it's not Batman. I think it's a uh, Gordon or something, or one of the police officers uh, confuses one of the named police officers. You know, there's a bunch of just generic nameless. Yeah, yeah nameless uh, fodder. Uh, how do you call it? it confuses a, a little person for a little kid, and then it turns out that the that the little kid is actually an adult, and it's a mugger, and he just shanks him and just Jesus. runs away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that's uh, <laughs> and it's it's, it's, it's it's a really funny, really good pod, uh, podcast. It's only available on HBO Max. Only, on Sp- only, only, only oh, on wait. Spotify. There's only the first two episodes, and after that, there's nothing. Damn. Well, I want to go see some guy get shanked. Uh, yeah, <sighs> you know, my chest hurts. Why? Explaining that, I don't know. What have you done? My my heart's. I I, sp- I spoke. Uh, I spoke too much about the podcast. I'm being murdered. <gasps> I'm be- He's done. I'm done. GG, everybody. I'm going to have to do this podcast solo now. Um, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Episode oh five spoilers, everybody. Okay. Theory number one that I've seen. They're like, supposedly, maybe he has still been in the asylum, right? Because in the very first episode, the little girl asks Mark. No, I'm sorry. Steven. She asks Steven. She's like, oh, what does it feel like being rejected from the field of reeds? And he's like, well, I wasn't rejected because I'm not dead, right? In the mm-hmm. first episode. So, who knows? Wait, but that little girl didn't show up, did she? In the, yeah, in the first episode? Yeah, yeah. The no, no, girl. no, but like in the in the insane asylum segment. I don't think so. No, no, no. Yeah. But that's the thing. They're like, she asks Steven, what was it like getting rejected from the field of reeds? And at the end of episode five, we see him tumble over. Boom, he dies. And he's balanced out. And they're like, another another thing someone commented was, the scales balance out because now he no longer needs to hide behind Steven to like absorb his shame and whatnot. You get me? Cause that was like super traumatic. All this stuff that was happening. Yeah. He accidentally kills his little brother. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say he accidentally kills this. Like they're little kids. No, they're kids. You know? They, they fucked up and they went somewhere they shouldn't. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, like he, it wasn't his fault that it said it was a stupid mother. Yes. Because not just that, why the fuck wouldn't the mom explain to them? Like what I tell you, don't go out there when it rains. Right. Cause the little brother says she said we shouldn't go in there when it rains or whatever. Right. Instead of saying, Hey, you guys can drown if you guys go in there and it rains. So do not go in there if it rains, okay? Because you will drown. There's a possibility of death. But I'm 99% sure the mom was just like, ah, don't go in there when it rains, you know? But also, why weren't they being supervised? Low Who key, lets though. two kids just go run the off fucking, into the cave? A fucking abandoned cave where, like, an experienced spelunker could probably fucking die? Exactly. Like, why would you just let the why? Why wouldn't the cave just be off limits? Zero like, at all. At all. Yeah. Just no. Like just, no tolerance. Even if there's no rain, you could slip off one of the tall things and crack your head and die. Exactly. Like, why isn't it just like boarded up? How Straight much did up. two pieces of wood cost? Thirty cents and a shekel. Straight like, up. Yeah, and we know they're Jews, so they got shekels. So, uh, uh, it's confirmed he's Jewish. Yeah. True. But <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Edward Exe has. I low key forgot what I was gonna say. Shekels. No, 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 not Shekels. Jews. It has to do the with... The uh, Boarding up the cave. Oh, yes, the mom. the mom. So, the mom. I took that as a sign that... Uh, how do you call it? That the mom also has DID. Because she was, like, crazy in between. Yeah, because things. isn't DID, hey. like, inherited? I was going to so, say, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Steven's Makes like, sense. no, that's not my mom. That's not my mom. What happened was, uh, like, she had a DID, and so Steven had DID, and so they were mm-hmm. both only interacting with one version of the mom. Mm-hmm. Well, we know that the the mom was beating the shit out of him, like with the belt and stuff, and that's why he created Steven in the first place mm-hmm. to disassociate and just like, no, nah, I don't need this right now. It's not real. It's not going to happen. And then boom, he dissociates. Um, but like, why did the dad also let it get to the point where he's like, "Well, get her help," and it's like, "Your son should have already leaving. gotten help." Why didn't you get it's too help late? <laughs> the first year he's at his fucking birthday, and he's like. Uh, and she's like drinking and stuff the second year like come on a- after the second year of her drinking on his birthday you should have gotten a clear 
clear image of like she's not okay Mm -hmm. she needs grief counseling whatever anything 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 at all anything and apparently they're really well off because they're like in a new york apartment you know they're they're fucking expensive with a two-story new york apartment exactly a two-story they're not just it's not like broken down yeah no 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 No, not a slum it's not a slum it's not a ghetto They're, they're not in like a single room the size of my room right now like with the kitchen in here as well exactly like, the kitchen also uh, and the sink is also your toilet yeah yeah the fucking bunch of don't, don't worry about stuff. the roaches they eat the shit so that way you know you have a clean like sink when you want to wash your oh, hands like he says i think i just saw a roach throw two roaches throwing up yeah. <laughs> around the corner or something like that um but yeah it's like that it's just that yeah bad S- sorry it's not a bad environment and yet the mom gets that bad mm-hmm. even though they were well off enough to have hypothetically Afforded. treated her yeah, yeah. like I don't know what the dad did, but I'm pretty yeah, sure he has health insurance. Doing. Like, he's just neglecting his wife, and he's like, "Oh, I already know it's been 12 years, and you've been uh, yelled at your whole life, or, or let's say, I've been beaten and yelled at your yeah, whole yeah. life for like let's say six years." Because the kid, he's like, let's just say he's like 12 when the kid died. No, no, he was 10. He was 10. I counted the things. He was 10, so it went on for eight years. Because I'm assuming he's 18 when he's running away. It went on for eight years before he decides to fuck off. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane. Who even knows if it was 18? He might have taken off at 16. You know, that many... 16 or 17, even, yeah. Even six him. years of, like, just constant abuse and... Uh, neglect. And neglect, abuse, fucking... I don't know, everything. Like, yeah. All that in the kitchen sink. Yeah, exactly. Um, Where the two roaches are fucking... <laughs> exactly. See? Um, but, yeah, it, it makes no yeah, sense no. as to why they couldn't get her help sooner to stop all that from imploding. Like, it wasn't that long ago... Assuming he's in the present day, because, you know, fucking, let's say it's 2023, right? At their time. Mm -hmm. So he's like in his mid 30s. Let's just say he's 35, right? For the argument's sake. 15 years ago was um, fucking 2008. So from like 2000, 2008, he was basically being like abused and whatnot. And you couldn't do anything about it. Like we are, it's it's not that time where it's like you throw her in the, you, you, you throw your wife in jail because she's hysterical or yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's like the time where you can get her medication. There's plenty of treatment available. But also, I guess it's just the stigma of having mental illness or also, maybe I mean, it's shameful and he didn't want it found out. Yeah, like mental health services in the UK, from what I hear, aren't great. They were in the US though. New York. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking yeah, like, like, I know. like Stephen, a UK. I know. Yeah, of course. But no. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we're even worse here. So. <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. It, it, it's worse off in the US. But yeah. but like we've already stated, he's well off. Should have been able to get something done. The dad just fucking sat on it, sat with his thumb up his ass the whole time. Yeah. Through, it was like nothing. I don't hear anything. Honestly, he's like Stephen. Stephen, no, no, don't, don't run away. Ah, that's some good stuff. Awful. Uh, no, yeah, but. <sighs> oh, and the, my 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 theory as to why the the hearts finally balanced when when they dropped them off is because uh, there's supposed to be like three people inside of his head, yeah. right? We even got the notification. Uh, so why is it that uh, that they didn't balance? Because three of the hearts weren't on the scale, and then throwing Steven off. Now there were two hearts, because now the other person is uh, is because there's supposed to be three. They only put two hearts on the scale. But she never took out the third heart from the third guy, though. So true. I don't know. I mean, mm. even she was surprised that it balanced. Yeah, but there was no more. There were, now there's two souls, three hearts. I guess. I don't know. There's a lot. I, I don't know how they're going to wrap it all up. Maybe it'll be an hour long episode yeah, for the finale, yeah. but I don't know how they're going to wrap it all up because he's still one technically. Episode. There's so many still like. He's still technically dead. She even said she can't revive him or heal him. So he needs to find a way to do that. Um, they have like, to free Khonshu, I guess. They have to free Khonshu, destroy Amit. Like, how are they going to wrap this all up in one yeah. one hour long? I don't know. It's all, It seems like a lot to put. But then again. Unless it's I mean, an hour and a half. I don't think it's gonna be an hour and a half. No, we already have the runtime. No, I don't think so. I don't know. No, I haven't seen it. But what I did see was, now this is just we we don't know for sure, right? Mm-hmm. But we we have no idea. We're not behind the scenes experts here. Loki was seen at the Avengers campus, so people are theorizing that Loki is gonna appear in the last episode. I don't know how. I don't know why, but. If you try and stretch your imagination real quick, like hyper theorize, yeah, she like made just... she made a reference to different planes of existence because she was like, oh, like the f- um, she's like, oh, um, the afterlife is real, and she's like, well, several ones are because she even pointed out the Black Panther afterlife, which is escaping me right now. Yeah, the fucking uh, 
I don't know, great, I don't know why I'm thinking internalized, but uh, I know, the, the great beyond or some bullshit. I don't no, know. it's uh, the Ethereum. Black. No, I don't. I don't Ethereum. Know. Ethereum. Oh, the ethereal plane. Probably? Ethereal plane. Yes, something yes, like yes. Yeah. That's what it's called. Ethereum. Ancestral plane. Ancestral there we plane. go. The ancestral plane. Yes. Yes. The ancestral plane. Not to be confused with Tennessee. The ancestral plane. True. 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 Um, that was Alabama. It's most of Kentucky, South. Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Missouri. Uh, Missouri. Sorry, sorry, pronounce Missouri. And no, I don't. I will never pronounce it that way. They can Missouri. eat my entire ass. <laughs> eat my entire ass, Missouri. Exactly. This is the California elites talking to you right now. We will not stop and call Missouri what you want, dude. <laughs> Period. No. Uh, the ancestral plane. The ancestral plane. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So we spent three. We spent three <laughs> fucking hours like uh, trying to figure out the the correct name of and like we a, just immediately threw it out. Missouri is just. No, it doesn't matter. What's more important, Missouri. 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 Misery. Misery. Yeah, can't spell misery without misery. So, sorry, you can't pronounce misery without misery. So the ancestral I'm plane. Too high for this. I don't know what the fuck. Honestly, is. the ancestral plane and. The fucking afterlife, the Egyptian afterlife, are both in one place. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe some fucky wucky stuff at the end of uh, this the episode. Maybe you get a Loki cameo of him being like, "Oh, this timeline doesn't seem to be correct. Someone must have died or something, but they can't prune it anymore." Mm -hmm. Or I I don't know, you know, because Amit would be a pretty big disruption. Yeah, to Cause, everything. Because you saw like all the bodies raining down, and she's like, "What? Why are all these people dying? Oh no, something's wrong." And it's like, ah, Amit's, Amit's uh, free. Amit's out. Oh, you. Amit's free. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like at this point, Amit is free because why else would all those bodies be coming down? Oh, no, for like, sure. At, at the very least, like she's like halfway out or something. Yeah, because he had the effigy right in his yeah. hand. So I'm assuming Arthur was probably like, Psh, -ha -ha -ha. and then do you think he's gonna have armor? Like his own when when they fight at the end because there's like there's like the little clip from the promo of him attacking Arthur but yeah but the thing is though it's Amit's armor gonna be not just that but like I feel like it'd be a little weird having like because okay le let's not beat around the bush we've got the Moon Knight and the Sun Squire and, well not just that but like Harold's looks pretty old I don't. It'd be kind of funny, like watching like a seventy-year-old, yeah. like trying to like <laughs> oh, okay. box he's not out. 70. I, he's probably like in his fifties, fifty canonically, he, right? Yeah, not, I wouldn't say sixties, probably fifties. Yeah. but they're painting him clearly very old, very like weak. Older, which I mean, it'd be a fun like fake out, yeah, maybe. fake out. But I mean, l look at his like his face, like it's gonna be yeah. very. I mean, I guess he's it walking would be with like a cane for God's sake. Yeah, I, I, it'd be very comic esque. <laughs> Of him to like, like, yeah, it's just I was holding back. Face. I was holding back my two percent power. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, I don't know. I hope that I low key hope they don't do that. I'm not gonna be able to like, like take it seriously. I'm just gonna be <laughs> laughing the whole time. Well, it's not gonna be him like hulking up or anything, but probably just with him the in suit. a suit. No, but that's why with the suit, like, I it's like I don't His know. Own version. It, it happened in like Peacemaker, and that was only barely believable. Where like Would the you? the the fucking dad of uh of what's his face <laughs> just comes His out in the dad, Iron Man suit. Yeah. His just, dad just like I could like, not take that seriously. Son, I'm gonna beat you up. And I'm like, he's like 90. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? He's here to do two things: say the n word and, and kick your shit. ass, and kick your ass. And he doesn't see any black people around here. Uh, um, yeah, he was racist. Yeah, he, he was. He was like the the the, the white dragon. The white dragon. Yeah. Honestly, the suit was cool as fuck, but. It it was so funny because he's just like he's a little chubby he's that old old dad bod fan. yeah he's like i'm gonna beat you up son just yeah, think stereotypical like hand a chance just think stereotypical like racist redneck old <laughs> yeah. person if redneck had or if a redneck iron man straight up like you redneck said, iron man redneck, redneck iron, iron man because this man was able to make his own fucking spatial space time continuum yeah garage shit. shit that can How a I, hole in a hole in the wall just I, 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 <laughs> exactly that's exactly right. <sighs> when Peacemaker like accidentally killed his like young, and, and that one was actually because Peacemaker like he, Peacemaker actually did kill his like like kid Younger brother. brother. Yeah, yeah. But that and was, it wasn't his fault. It was, either. wasn't his fault because it was his the dad. Fault. Yeah, the dad goaded him on because they're in that sort of environment. Yeah. So it's like whole nature versus nurture. Uh, oh my god! I just thing. realized how like close it is. How, how close it is to like. And night. he didn't have a fucking <laughs> mental breakdown. Not until later, <laughs> yeah. at least. Yeah. Exactly. Ah. Uh, no, yeah, but but that, that's what I mean. Like, just I could barely take that seriously, and that was like a high tech, like like oh yes, I'm enhancing everything, yeah. like yeah. with weapons. Like he wasn't just like beatbox, like uh, just fucking 
boxing out the like peacemaker he was like shooting shit at him but also harrow is pretty he's pretty thin you know he's not like I, I wouldn't say he's like spindly or anything but he's not bulked out either so it wouldn't be too crazy to him to think of just like oh he's fit and in his suit yeah, yeah but and the suit is what gives him the healing powers extra strength and whatnot yeah yeah i know but like what i'm saying is like yeah the the tech was giving him that right but even that part wasn't really believable it's believable because he wasn't directly fighting him he was like shooting things at him yeah he was like blasting beams at him not hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah in Harold's case, it would presumably be hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. He might get, like, a gun or, like, the little, like, batarang or moon rangs or whatever. Just keep summoning his fucking demons. Like, that, that might be uh, yeah. I'd, I'd be disappointed if the final battle is just him, like, summoning demons until he gets his hands on Harrow and they're able to steal away a minute. But, I mean, I do want to see them duke it out. Like, that, yeah. that's... I want them... I want to see them duke it out, which is why I don't want to just see another generic kind of CGI. Like, oh, we're just going to fight a bunch of CGI demons and then get to you with the main boss and slap you down in a, in a, in a jiffy. Because, mm. like I said, it's only going to be an hour long. There's a lot to pack into that. Yeah. And no end credit scenes to fucking explain anything else yeah, so far. Yeah, nothing. Oh, well, at the, uh, in the shows, they always have an end credit scene on the final episode. Yeah. Well, they ha I thought they had one second to last episode on the, some of them, no? Or no? just only the last one? Always ones? the last episode. Uh, Hawkeye mm -hmm. was the last episode mm -hmm. uh, where we saw, like, Fisk, like, get up and then uh, Echo fucking off. shot him. <laughs> yeah, supposedly. Uh, WandaVision it was... Um, her hearing the kids. Her hearing she, the kids, yeah. She was, she was in the mountain the, and she realized, like, oh, my children are alive. She's opened up the Necronomicon or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then in... Uh, Falcon the Winter Soldier, it was uh, what's her face, uh, Madam Hydra coming up and recruiting. Oh, yeah, and uh, being like, here you go, U.S. Yeah, agent. Recruiting U.S. agent, and then in uh, what was the last one? Uh, Loki, my f one, of my, my favorite one actually thus <laughs> far. Uh, Loki uh, wakes up and he sees that the uh, what's fucking what's his Kang took over the entirety of the that the was time the post, thing. that was in the post credit scene, was it? Yeah, I thought the post. He woke up and he was like, oh shit. Was it the post credit? Why do I remember the? It being different. Um, what was the post credit scene then? Because I thought that That's was the last scene where he's like, what's your name? And he's like, what? And then he sees Kang. But then mm. the post, let me see. Maybe. It? Maybe I'm just forgetting the post credit scene. Honestly? Loki? Let me see. Loki post credit scene. It's. I was about to say, hey, yo, what oh, the yeah, fuck? I did do my energy. In the yeah. Ending scene, final scene. Where is the post credit scene? Loki, end credit scene. According to IGN, no, there was no actual post credit scene for Loki's season one finale, but there was a little short bit showing Loki's TVA file getting stamped with a message alerting us to a season two. Oh, look at that. That's okay. That makes sense because I was like, I don't remember a post credit scene either, but that makes that does make that makes sense. sense. Alternate ending post credit scene. But yeah, if there is a post credit scene, so if it kind of feels like they're like, you know what these shows kind of feel like sometimes? It mm. kind of feels like they're chopping up full hour length, like, like, uh, like a full movie, like a full three hour movie, and just chopping it up, and that's why they only have the post credit scene on the on the last one, because yeah. they're they're treating it kind of like a movie that they've just chopped up. Of course, you know, it's like, no, because no one's gonna watch a six hour movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. But also, I, I guess just because Loki is going to have the second season, they probably didn't feel too much of a need to just the stamp another season. You're like, oh, nice. And now yeah. you get to see what else happens. Because you're confident in your own product. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when you have high quality products, um, you only use propane and propane accessories. Exactly. Yeah, I, I guess that does make sense, though. Um, but I, so, so, like I said, mm -hmm. it's only rumors about Loki supposedly being in the sixth episode. But I, I don't under know how they would incorporate him. Because there were some people wanting, like, oh, Spider-Man should be in the Hawkeye finale. Because uh, they're right there in New York no. and he's going to swing by. It's like, no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Gonna At happen. best, a cameo. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But also, who knows if maybe they'll be affected by the whole multiverse shenanigans. Because, remember, it's the last episode, May 4th. And then May 5th multiverse or 6th, of Multiverse of Madness comes True. out. True. And that trailer... Um, you guys will probably have seen it by this point where they lead him in and he, and then Mordo goes, the Illuminati yeah, will see you now. And we're like, oh, shit. Like, like obviously uh, we knew. Illuminati confirmed. When, when Xavier literally was like, yeah, we should tell him the truth. It's like, oh, shit, it's going to be Illuminati, right? Yeah. Illuminati. And then they're like, yes, it is. Here's your little breadcrumb. And we're like, yes. But it's nothing too crazy because remember, mm -hmm. it's like Spider-Man. 
We have no idea. We what knew the Green Goblin be. and Doc Ock were going to be in there, but we exactly. had no idea how it was going to play out. Exactly, and, and it was very. You, I mean, we saw how we the movie knew was. It was great. that all three Spider Man were going to be in it, and it was still like. I mean, it was never officially. Yeah, teased. Never officially That's the thing. It was yeah. never officially teased. So. A lot of people were hyping themselves up, but like there were a lot of leaks and stuff. And you know, yeah, yeah I watched them, and I was like, yes, now we're gonna see them. But to the extent which we got them was a lot more, yeah. Rather than just like they peek in and they're like, what are you doing here? So it was like, oh, uh, there's a portal in here. I got pulled in, woo, and then mm. doing their, oh, their whole. They, they they then cure their own people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. I, I still kind of wish they didn't. Uh, good. Confirm it. I mean, they I, te- technically they didn't because there's still no promotional material except now that it's out in DVD. They made one. Um, I think one of the Blu-rays has the three of them swinging on it. No, 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 no. Uh, the Illuminati. I wish they hadn't confirmed oh. it. No, no, well, because it's we just, already that knew, but so, I wish they hadn't. That one's so obvious because honestly, I kind of wish they hadn't had Patrick Stewart in it at all. If I had yeah. no Patrick Stewart and I just had um like, oh, um. Not even the Illuminati. If if it's just like the the robots carrying him in, and he's like sitting in front of people, and they're like strange or whatever, you just m- keep Mordo doing the voiceover, so you think it's him judging him. And then in theaters, we see we should tell him the truth, and you're like, <gasps> and then <laughs> fucking comes in their pants immediately because yeah. now that he said Illuminati, now you gotta have alternate version Iron Man. You gotta have fucking yeah, Tom Cruise is Reed slated Richards. to be in there, no? No, that's the thing. No? It's it's that is only a rumor. I thought the, the actor himself like Tom was. Cruise, I no, I don't think anyone's co- been able to actually confirm it. That's the thing. People keep putting artworks and stuff of that of like Tom Cruise's superior no, 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 Iron no, no, Man no, and whatnot. No, that, that's the but, rum- yeah. that's the rumor aspect. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I thought Tom Cruise as an actor was like something I, like an he, extra he or something was, in there. No, no, he's slated to appear in a Marvel film. But we oh, supposedly we don't know when, that's but thing. that's why everyone thinks it's going to be this one, which if it is, hey, I'm all for it. Seeing him as an unhinged Iron Man would be awesome. But remember, you, you got to keep reasonable expectations. Yeah. Because yeah. it's that whole thing with um the, the same thing with WandaVision. How yeah, everyone's yeah. like, oh, my God, uh, we're going to see fucking um, uh, Quicksilver is going to be him. And it's going to be this. And it's like Ralph Boner. And it's like, that that's it. Like, that was a yeah, little okay, disappointing. But, that, 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 but you that can't was... overhype yourself either. Yeah, you can't overhype yourself, but that 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 was an, in, that was an intentional fuck up threat by by. Yeah, yeah. it was an Disney. intentional kind of like <laughs> you thought it was gonna be this, but the whole yeah. er, everyone expected Mephisto to be in the last one, even though there was not really like solid evidence. It was kind of just like, well, the red is here, and you see a devil here. Well, and no, they no, no. The, the evidence was the fact that they were adapting that storyline where that, where he. I, goes. I guess so. I guess that, so. like that that was like this this is what always like kind of annoys me about like online like people they're like oh you know it was just red here but no they were adapting like an actual storyline mm-hmm. that has Mephisto as the main player and the only way that the two children ever come about is by Mephisto those two children aren't real they're parts of Mephisto's soul like they're they're like Wanda can't just create souls she took a portion of Mephisto's soul to make those two children like that that one that one's a little like like that like you mm-hmm. do have to see how it's gonna play out but uh, for that one there was actual justification because within this framework of like Wanda and like Vision there's no way for her to just create souls mm-hmm. so they had to have explained it some way and they still haven't technically they still haven't explained how she created them that yeah that's true and I mean which they, is gonna probably gonna be explained in Multiverse of Madness yeah because they, they weren't like children that she took over either yeah. But like you said, they're going to explain it because she's still looking for her kids. Yeah, yeah. It's not she, over yet. Yeah. We could still find out that, that Mephisto played a part or is like uh, enrolled in something. Because, yeah. again, in the original one, we didn't know it was Mephisto either. It was kind of like this where like uh, the ending uh, was kind of ambiguous. It was later that we found out that it, that Wanda took pieces of Mephisto's soul mm-hmm. and put them and created those children. Yeah. Uh, but originally in the comic where like she, you know, all this happens. She goes she crazy. Goes stupid. Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, and I'm s I am can not wait, dude. One week. One week and then one we week. get to see Zombie Strange, Zombie Wanda. Zombie everyone, pretty much. Everyone. Zombie Every everyone. everyone's a fucking zombie and you're gonna watch it, okay? You're gonna like it. Um and yeah, we're gonna see everyone. Just everyone. 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 You're, you're gonna be in the movie. I'm gonna be in the movie. We're both in the movie. Yeah. Let's throw that up there. We are the movie. <laughs> Exactly. You are currently watching. <laughs> welcome to welcome to Broke Till Friday channel. Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> You're watching Multiverse of Madness on the Broke Till Friday channel. 
<laughs> like a little Disney fucking yeah. thing. No, it's like it's like uh like Doctor Strange red cape flows out and the it's the exactly it's the cape that like does the little. <laughs> oh that yeah, yeah it, that's true. All right, practice your rotoscoping right. on this. Um, so yeah, I can't wait one more week for that. Um, and it's it's a very the hype. What's a roto moto? Rotoscoping. It's in video editing where you like cartoonify as it's tracking a person and mm. stuff like that. Um, trying to learn how to do that. Dip my toes in the video editing. E- e- editing. E- editing. 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 I'm going to say the Edward. <laughs> so, Edward. Uh, um, I think that's all we had, huh? Yeah, I think that's all we have. All right. that was just, Good night, guys. Just, just jizzing about on uh, on Multiverse of Madness. That's pretty much I it. can't wait. I know. And it's... I, I, I can't wait to see... Wouldn't it be cool if they had Ultron on the fucking thing instead of Iron Man? If they fucking spun you mm. for one? If it's like, oh, yeah, this is actually Ultron. And when he won, he realized that he could do the best for the universe. And then it's like, you know, it'd be like, oh, shit, good Ultron? Or good what if Ultron. it's Hank Pym Ultron? And he's controlling Ultron bots. Who knows? Hey, yo, wait, Who knows? hold on. But in this universe, Hank Pym didn't create Ultron. Or it's It'd a be an universe, alternate, it's an alternate universe oh, that's, that's the beauty. That's, that's the, the beauty. beauty. You can do anything you fucking that, want. Hold on, but I don't want him to appear like the Hank Pym uh, Ultron from, from the comics. Because that shit looks weird as fuck. Well, no, it could I, literally I just him be a new design. It could just be fucking what's this Hank Pym in just a suit, an Ultron suit, and then when he puts on his mask, it's like Ultron. Because uh, you know, it's know like, how 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 Hank Pym Ultron looks? They're like melded together, right? Yeah. Let um, me let me get it out because uh, throw that, throw that up there on this. Throw, yeah, throw Hank, it up there. Hank Pym Ultron. That shit look too fucking weird. Uh, where'd he go? Yeah, it's some shit like this. Where it's half and half. Yeah. Yeah, this Got shit some, looks uh, too weird. I, Terminator I, I vibes. Wanna, like, there, there was some TikToker that, that did, like, a, like a redesign of it. Like, ex- explaining how, you know, how they can make it look better. Like, he does that to, like, a lot of other, like, characters. Like, oh, like, Nightwing's costume is a little too basic. Mm-hmm. You know, it's iconic. But this other person has, like, a super shit costume. So just, you know, take this from this and this from this. Kind of like that. And, and he gave, like, a pretty, like, good... Uh, a good redesign of this. Like, I, I do want both Hank Pym and Ultron to be, uh, like, melded together if they do, like, a Hank Pym Ultron thing. Mm-hmm. But not like this. I want it designed good. <laughs> yeah. I hope. I want a good design. Yeah, because, yeah, like, this shit look way too weird. Yeah, it's true. Um, but I, I feel like they could just hand wave it. Like, if, if they did do it, mm-hmm. they could just hand wave it with him being, like, uh, he's like, y- you've got nothing left inside of you, Pym. And he's like, I've still got a brain or something. And it's just his yeah. head on the machine or yeah, yeah. whatever. But... Yeah, eh, we'll see. We'll see. It's I, I hope I hope it is a very. It, it does Man. feel like there's way too many characters. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Well, that's the whole but point the thing of multiverse. It wasn't as much as uh, No Way Home. As No Way Home, so I mean, we're gonna see variants. That's yeah, we're gonna like, see variants. We're, we're we're in the multiverse stage of the we don't Marvel even know Cinematic if it's like, Universe. To be fair, to be fair, Patrick Stewart reprising his role it doesn't necessarily mean it's the the same one. The same yeah. the same uh, Xavier that we know from like the the original three with Wolverine and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, uh, it, it could be just a, be like another yeah. thing. It's just, it's just him, but another one, and mm-hmm. he's like, oh, um, and they've already done that where there's two or th- two versions of him. There's the X Men Three version of him, and there's the Days of Future Past version of him where they're in the terrible future and they have to go back in time and erase that. Oh yeah, yeah. So, it could be the Days of Future Past Xavier too. You don't know. It could be actually because they yeah. already erased their future. So yeah, and he could be like some sort of time thing. Yeah, where he um, like left that universe, and so I am so know. fucking hyped, dude. It is, it's, I can't oh wait. I know. The thing can't is, wait. though, the, I have so many questions. The, wait, uh, if I remember correctly, one of the Illuminati is Mister Fantastic, right? Reed Richards. Yeah, Reed Richards. That's why. So Who presumably we might like get or at least we have to at least get a reference to to exactly. to, to Reed Richards. Or he's like, like the, he's like Reed couldn't be here or something. Or, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something, something. Give me crumbs, like, bitch. Crumbs. <laughs> uh, because like how how else are they gonna explain away his absence like yeah because they say illuminati like they've said it illuminati mm-hmm. confirmed the world government like straight up new you world gotta, order you gotta have fucking doctor strange you got mordo's part of it Mordo. supposedly um you got fucking xavier iron man reed richards and black panther <sighs> black panther so what black if bolt and uh namor 
I wonder if they'll introduce any. I, I don't know. They'd probably be it's three, too th- th- much. Th- that's, introduced. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. We have to get references for the three because it wouldn't make sense for them to use the name of the Illuminati without at least referencing the Black Bolt, Namor, and uh, Black Panther and Reed Richards. Well, oh, we already have Black Panther. We have the Black Panther movie. But that's we the thing. Know. What if they show us a variant version where it's like... No, but I mean, as introductions, name? it's a lot of characters oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. introduce yeah, in, in yeah. one film. It's three yeah. characters with whole entire stories yeah. that, you know, in, in film, in, at, at the very least in the MCU, we've never seen. So it's uh, it, quite a bit to uh, to jam pack because then we're also getting a new character, uh, uh, C- uh, America Chavez. America Chavez. Caesar Chavez. <laughs> I was gonna say Caesar Chavez. Uh, Caesar Chavez, <laughs> the newest freedom fighter. Uh, fucking uh, America Chavez. We're getting uh, who else that's new? I think that's it. That's it. Oh, I guess the rest of the Illuminati they're, they got yeah, yeah. introduced. But besides but, that, I think there's anyone else. Yeah. So far, that's it. And the fucking, well, I guess the other named, not the unnameless ones, mm-hmm. but the named acolytes that are going to be there, like the guy with the fucking bull head and stuff. I mean, oh, maybe yeah, they'll yeah. make some more references. Yeah. It might just be like Sakaar where they're like putting in a bunch of characters and they don't actually name them. But you yeah, know yeah. they're there and it's like, oh, we know they're like, there. Ah, I, I, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw I, that. I, I, this is for you, guy who kept uh, Doctor Strange comic from 1973, uh, number five, didn't sell. Uh, first edition. Yeah, first edition, all this kind of stuff. That guy's for you. And everyone's like, who is this guy? Everyone's like Google. <laughs> during the movie like who the like, fuck who? is that who when that? where and then you're gonna get that screen rant video that goes the top 10 things you missed in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness number 10 Burger King foot Ultra. lettuce <laughs> honestly Ultron the Ultron bots yeah I, I, I can't yeah. wait though like uh, in, just in uh, that second trailer where you see the Ultron bots that was like that was enough to get me hyped. But then Honestly, now where they're like, the Illuminati will see you. And we're like, oh, it's fuck. It's like, ah, oh, I fucking came. Honestly, okay. like, thank God Honestly, Xavier's though. not blind. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a paraplegic. Uh, what was I going to say? You said honestly, okay, just, just, Just that, yeah. Just, 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 that, just that. Just hyped. hyped. Just hyped. mega hype. Ultra hype. Double Ultron the hype. Ultron hype. Ultron hype. Ultron hype. And uh, actually, wait, we're going to see the variant, the Monica Rambeau variant. Or Maria Rambo, remember, with her powers of Captain Marvel. Black oh lady. yes, binary. Yes, we are. We're, we're gonna see a uh, variant, so that's gonna be a. I don't know if it's new, if it's a variant character, but well, it's to be still fair, we, character. Don't, we don't. We haven't really seen. They're still kind of introducing her because we've only really seen her like a little bit in uh, WandaVision. There's it's still basically a new character that they kind of got introduced. Yeah, I guess so. Um, who, who is she? she? Like, the daughter was Monica Rambeau's the original, right? Maria Rambeau, or was it Maria Rambeau? Fuck, I don't remember. Uh, Mo- Monica Rambeau is the, the, the original, name. right? But Maria Rambeau is her kid? The kid who got the other powers to be the fucking Photon? Remember? No, no, Monica Rambeau is Photon. Photon? Oh, so Maria also- Rambeau is the mom. No, There's Monica like, Rambeau is uh, has been Captain Marvel at one point, binary, photon, mm-hmm. uh, a bunch of stuff. It's always just been her, in the comics at least. The next fight, Edward versus binary. Ah! We've got non versus binary. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the monitor, yeah. anti-monitor, we've got the non-binary and the binary. Um, I'm invading this world. No. Exactly. Just take a chump. <laughs> and then Eternals. Just, just the entire planet. <laughs> Honestly, like an apple. Like I'm just waiting also to see a reference for Eternals. Eternals? Yeah, where, where's Eternals in all the this? Fucking, no, 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 no. The fucking gigantic hand that's just in there in the head, and he's just like, okay, just carry on. Like, I would have expected at least something of like, oh, a huge thing opened up, and like, and then Moon Knight just changes the channel. Or so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll see more in Multiverse of Madness. Well, also, wait, are these, these post-credit are, scenes? Are Eternals? Because it also depends what month. Like, wh- when is Eternals happening? Because if it's happening while uh, while Moon Knight is like out in the desert, like fucking like trying to find a midst, that's true, like that's he's true. not gonna be able he's to get a see. reference. Yeah, yeah. And if it hadn't happened before, well, you know. Yeah. Hmm. What was I'm just remembering now? What, but again, remember in Moon Knight we haven't had any reference to the wider Marvel universe yet either. Yeah, that's, they they which they one? just did in this episode. Fuck. Um, uh, I just remembered it. No, 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 no. Uh, don't give me any of that Moon Knight is in an alternate universe stuff because that stuff is wrong. No, they, I never said that. <laughs> I think they just haven't referenced it yet, so no, we don't know could, when. 
um because because a bunch of people were claiming that online that's why mm -hmm. uh it's like a popular theory where they're like oh it's actually an alternate universe because there's been no direct references but they literally fucking referenced something uh, i don't remember what it was but i, I know because when i heard it i was like oh, it's that um where is he let me see uh, let me see the in moon Knight, there it is so oh wait no we just talked about it the ancestral plane Oh yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I was Wait, like, no, but that's like a that's a reference because the ancestral <sighs> plane is Black Panther's. Yeah, but that would post exist. Mortem. That would exist. Uh, how do you call it? Regardless, of the, would it though? Yeah, because if a Black Panther is exists, death you'd after need a... multiverse, I'm pretty sure the death realms are in the different universes. Are they? Yeah, because I mean. Um, if not, wouldn't we just see like a bunch of versions of Thor in hell or whatever, like, you know, or whoever's died, all his enemies in hell coming back up when, uh, what's her face comes out, you know, like, cause when she's let loose, you know, the, the, the juice is on the loose. You got people dying. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't know. But I'm, pre I'm pretty sure they're definitely. No, but like, hey, wait, no, hold on. What I mean is, like, there would still be an ancestral plane copy in a different universe. Like, it uh, doesn't mean I, I think the universe oh, is okay, real. I guess, but, I like, guess. she could be. Ref if it's a different universe, the anc an ancestral plane presumably exists there. Mm -hmm. Because it's a. Obviously, it's alternate. It's a copy of it. Yeah. I think. Let me see. I think there was. Even if it doesn't exist uh, across the entire universe, there would presumably still be a copy of it on the other universe. But, more, no, more, more importantly. <laughs> That's like, uh, you know, that's a reference to Ancestral Plane. Sure, that's the Ancestral Plane. But that doesn't mean anything for, like, the wider Marvel Universe, really. Like, sure, Death Realms uh, obviously are, are a little bit different, you know. But, like, there's no reference to, like, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Uh, yeah, the main Anyone guys. else. Um, Hawkeye. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, no, yeah, I, I was a mercenary, and one time I had to fight against uh, th this person who used archery a lot or some shit. Yeah, but I, I think yeah, I think that's been it so far, but but I, I it is still... It because, be but here, here's my theory as to why they haven't. Because I feel like, like uh, acknowledging the wider Marvel Universe in any one of the things kind of takes away from the... Uh, from not knowing which reality is real in his head. Hmm. Like yeah. his confusion as to what which reality is correct would be taken away if there's a reference to the wider Marvel universe because you know it, it's if if um if someone can just get angry enough that they become a giant green monster and start rampaging through New York uh, and they're battling a giant worm alien that's flying through the sky you know that and that's reality I uh, uh, an ancient Egyptian god giving you superpowers isn't exactly too far fetched, so far -fetched yeah. especially when that green guy is fighting next it is fucking kicking the shit out of an actual god like that's true mm -hmm. you know that that's probably why there's no reference to the wider Marvel universe mm -hmm. uh, because then then presumably even though he does have DID his story wouldn't be strange because right now he's in the Asylum asylum because they assume that the that uh that his the the reality ID is, is yeah that he can't tell the difference from reality and stuff but if you know you can kind of see like oh a, an ancient egyptian god giving you powers okay not exactly far-fetched when the actual yeah. god of like thunder that's, that's it that's it that's, <laughs> that's it? all you got that's all you got you, you just got this cool suit and slightly advanced healing the god yeah. of thunder is over here like shooting lightning bolts out his ass like Speaking about Thor, love and thunder. Thor, love and thunder, like y you know exactly. Yeah. Like fuck, like fucking the go the god of fucking uh uh a thunder just murdered a fucking uh uh a fucking giant green alien that murdered half of the fucking entirety of the universe and then fucked off with uh <laughs> into to go meet uh, his female version like. Yeah. Like uh, a conju yeah. coming down and saying, "Hey, yo, you want some? You want some nice healing? <laughs> you want, you want health powers? <laughs> yeah, you want health care? <laughs> he is Canada, and Mark is an American. Exactly. Conchu be like, "My name is Canada. You will be my Maple Knight." <laughs>
Uh, but that was so hype though when he went, "You will be my Moon Knight." I just went, "Oh!" Whoa. Like I, I dude, know. I was. I had I to put down my pan dulce. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, I was like, "I know." Every time they go Spider Man or you're the Batman or the Superman, the que- uh, number so two good. quest of yeah, it's vengeance. So good for no reason. Just fucking say it to me. Make me a kid again. <sighs> reading my comic books, going Saturday morning. Well, yeah. not morning because I. I'm fucking lazy, but you exactly. know exactly I mean. Saturday afternoon. Saturday anything. afternoon. Just reading your things, going, "Whoa, Batman is doing this," and you're like, "Whoa, Moon Knight," and now you hear oh, every time. Oh. Yeah, amazing. Very good. Very good. Cream so hard it comes out your neck. Exactly. Um, <sighs> but it was, it was so good. But yeah, was. yeah, yeah. Like, like, Kanchi giving you healthcare ain't exactly like, <laughs> like, uh, too far fetched. Like, it's like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So you're just one of the, the superheroes. Okay, no, there's no need for you to be in an insane asylum. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, Thor: Love and Thunder, though. That trailer. You seen the trailer, right? <clears throat> Thor: Love and Thunder. Yes. You got <clears throat> fucking Zeus, dude. You got Zeus. Zeus, Zeus looking there. head ass. You got fucking Russell Crowe, fat and a beard, and he's Zeus, and he's going woo woo, and. Gore. We haven't seen what he looks like yet. There's been some toy leaks, but remember the toys don't always look exactly like them. Like they're always off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who knows what's gonna happen? Because, but you know what I want to happen? Zeus getting killed by Gore in the first yes. ten minutes of the movie. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> just, to, so, just to kick the fucking puppy. Just to kick the just, fucking puppy. Uh, just uh, 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 take that, you fucking exactly. stupid bitch. Fuck off. <laughs> like, okay, no, no, okay. So, no, but like, really, what I do want? Yeah. Yes. Gore, Gore killing Zeus is a part of it. That'd be pretty nice. That'd be fun. <laughs> but I, I, I want the the movie to not be afraid to show Zeus being a dickhead. Like, I want yeah. him to be like an awful, horrible, I... <laughs> like just absolute shit. So that when Gore comes in and and kills them, you're cheering for Gore. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want, I want it to not be the kick the puppy moment. I want it to be like Mark Spector offing like all the fucking people that are like trying to murder people. So like, yeah. I, I, I want, sh- I want him to be like the main character. Like you're happy he finally killed Zeus. Like I, I, I want those emotions to come out of the screen. I, I don't know if we'll get that much development from him, but like it, he looked pretty. I want to say like even from just the catch and the, mm-hmm. he looked already like he's cocky because I mean he's Zeus. He's Duh, a, like uh, he's, he's, he's the head honcho. He killed, rapes he, women all the killed time. Killed Kronos. He fucked people is uh, animals. animals like yeah he's the goose that laid the golden egg inside of a vagina and out comes some other god later mm-hmm. where do loki and thor end up on that scale nowhere because they're different gods yeah so but it's gonna be cool seeing him being like i am hold the thunderbolt <gasps> and then thor being like you can hold your thunderbolt maybe he teaches him who knows, knows. imagine he's like here this is how you hold thunder and he's like oh <laughs> uh, and then that would make sense because then he could uh then he could get rid of the axe I don't know if he ever wants to get rid of the axe, though, because remember, in, in, I know in one of the scenes he's, like, planting the axe and putting it away. He's like, oh, we'll do no good or whatever. But then later he's battling with it, and that's when he sees Natalie Beefman fucking, she's yoked. Yoked. Did you yeah. see her fucking yeah, arms, fucking, dude? She's like, ooh, boom. She that catches was it. awesome. Oh, I love that so much. That's <gasps> I wonder so great. they got the fucking hammer back together. Yeah, that's I can't the other thing. Okay, I can't okay, wait. okay, okay, okay. So, Taito Wakiti, <laughs> Taito Wakiti is, is uh, directing, uh, he was writing and directing yes. both of them, right? Yes. So, he knows that that, that, that he made the uh, uh, the hammer get destroyed. Of course. It you know, shattered so, and just stayed there. So, Natalie Portman, maybe she goes and picks it up and maybe it's like, Reforms it. Oh. She's like, I wonder if we put it back know. together okay. or something. So, will happen. so one of the big things about Natalie Portman's story is that the reason, the the one of the big issues, in, not issues like as in a thing, but like that she has one of the, the conflicts she has. Is it funny? I don't even remember her name. I just remember Natalie Portman. I don't know oh. her fucking name. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Natalie Portman. <laughs> fuck yeah, I can't remember the name. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and then so what's her problem? A- anyways, so so one, one of the things that she Matt has, explain it to me. Matt, explain it. Uh, uh, is that. That she has cancer, and every time she becomes Thor, every time she, she take it gets worse. <gasps> because uh, what happens is that uh, the chemotherapy that's supposed to be healing her is technically a poison, and so when she becomes Thor, all the poisons and stuff get uh, uh, alleviated, like they get cured, cured from her. So when she uh, when she gets out of being Thor, the cancer is just running full like full steam ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And huh. so she's just dying, and so the next time she gets chemotherapy to try to alleviate it again. It get, goes away again the next time she becomes Thor. It just completely resets the whole thing. So does she have to beat cancer first and then become Thor? Is that what we're hearing? Probably. Everybody, wear your pink ribbons for Natalie Portman. Exactly. I don't remember her fucking... I don't Jane, remember Foster. Jane Foster. Jane Foster. Yes, Jane Foster. Jane Foster. Jane Foster Thor. Jane Foster Thor. Foster Thor. Foster Thor. 
Jane Thor. I, I can't wait. I'm like, it's ha- so, many uh, so many questions. So many questions. This whole summer thing. is going to be fucking amazing. We've got the ending of Moon Knight. We got Multiverse of Madness in a week. In two months, we got Thor Love and Thunder. In we November. We had Spider Man earlier. Yeah, it's fine. That was last year, technically. Oh, that was last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to have uh, in November fucking. Oh, fuck. I don't remember. I think it was Black Panther. Was it Black Panther? I think it's Black Panther. Is it Black Panther? I'm not even joking. Yeah, no, I think it's still slated for November. MCU sh- list. Future list. Wakanda Forever November. November 11th, 2022. Look at that. Mm. Ryan Coogler, who was actually arrested about it. <gasps> First Black Panther two footage released at CinemaCon. Oh, my God, oh everybody. My Are you guys Live ready reactions. for this scoop? Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, oh, so many fucking ads. I'm going to... Why, why don't you have Brave installed? Because I use Firefox for mine. Why? Use Brave! <laughs> nah, here. There we go. Because Firefox is... Um, it runs faster. And look, no ads. There we go. So, Marvel Studios. Um, so, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. Black Panther, Walk on, Walk on Forever. So, Marvel Studios has remained adamant. It will not recast the original lead. But... Um, Shuri, Nakia, Okoye all reprise their roles. It's unclear who will take over the Black Panther mantle. Um, and then, yeah, everyone from the first film is still going to be there. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, past reports have indicated Namor and his Atlantean army will serve as the antagonists. Oh. It appears the first footage may have offered a first tease of what could be the battle. Let's see if there's any Black Panther. Footage. If that's true, then yeah, th- it would it would make sense that they would kind of uh, Illuminati. They Illuminati, would mention they him. Would, they would have him. Yeah, not not just mention him. Probably like introduce him. Like this is Namor, King of Atlantis or whatever. Like you know whatever bullshit. Yeah. Let me see. Black Panther sneak peek. No, this is just text. This isn't any fucking. Where's the fucking? Reveals major war. Where's my fucking... But first? I hate this so much. Why? I hate these all these fucking garbage YouTubers not showing anything. Uh, okay, mm. well, we're not... not none of the actual video. Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever teaser trailer. Stupid. This is not anything. Yeah, this is just... I hate I hate screen culture so much. I'm going to downvote that. Screen culture is the worst fucking... What's screen culture? The worst fucking clickbait garbage ever. It's like... It has Spider-Man 4, first trailer. Spider-Man 4, and then it's just... uh, It's just like clip compilations of like... It says, here's first trailer concept for Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures' upcoming Spider-Man 4, Sinister Conflict. Even the title is garbage of the made-up movie. Sinister Conflict? That's all you could... What? That's all you could think of? Dumbest shit ever. Uh, Season 6... Sorry, episode 6, season finale promo for Moon Knight. Do not watch. This is... The dumbest shit ever. Ugh, it's just all rehash. Um, Transformers 7, Rise of the Beasts. What the fuck? Is, this is fake. Fake news garbage. I'm trying to see. Let me see. Recently uploaded. One day ago, one day ago. Black Panther 2 footage shown at CinemaCon. Fuck, I don't think we're actually going to get any of that until later. Because mm. it's, pr- it's pretty much just everyone describing what it is, but not saying it. MCU lineup. So, yeah, despite difficulties and halts to filming, Disney appears to reaffirm the November release date for What Kind of Forever. So it will still be in November. November yeah. 11th, 2020. So, yeah, the only two uh, movies we're getting this year are Thor Love and Thunder and Black Panther, What Kind of Forever. Um, only two movies? Yeah. No, three. What's the third one? Come on, man. What's coming out next week? <gasps> oh. Multiverse of Madness? Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, still three. Yeah, three. Um, three. 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 Let me see the Marvel lineup. Marvel Land for 2022. We still got... Oh, and then we have Miss Marvel in between Thor Love and Thunder and Doctor Strange. Uh, June 8th. Miss Marvel. Yeah, Miss Marvel comes out June 8th. Oh, the TV show. I got a movie called Miss Marvel. I was like, whoa, really? And there's an untitled Halloween special 2022 uh, in between Thor and Black Panther. Pretty much the time between Thor and Black Panther is going to be the longest because July until November. Fuck. But we we did get a lot last year too, to be fair. August, September, October, November. Four, yeah, four months between that Let and there's not see. a lot in between uh like there's no movie there's no tv shows or no nothing in between that huh it's pretty much uh because ant-man and the wasp and the marvels all got delayed that's mm. why um hm. i want to see quantum mania show me show, show me, me the quantum the conqueror 
Honestly, it's crazy, dude. I, I Show me the see. kangaroo man. Show me the kangaroo man, honestly. Okay, two of those entitled Marvel movies have been removed mm. from the schedule. Shake things up, blah, blah, blah. So we have Fantastic Four was announced, but we don't have a release yet. Really? I did not realize that Fantastic Four was announced. TBA, it says. Yeah, uh, I know. There's a Guardian. Sorry. So it's The Marvels, February. So it's only two months between November. Yeah. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, May 5th. And then Quantumania, July 2023. Ugh, it would have come out this year. Oh, one year. Ugh. Legit. And then She-Hulk. Oh, wait. It says She-Hulk is coming out 2022. What the fuck? And then What, what? If Season 2, 2022, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, December 2022, Secret Invasion in 2022? We're getting the TV show Secret Invasion. I forgot about that. Huh. Yeah, where? Unless they've changed it, because this is an article from February. No, I'm seeing it right now. Yeah, it says uh, I'm seeing it right now on Wikipedia. Um, First release March 27th. Let's see. Every anticipated release in 2022. Yeah, She Hulk. 2022. Wait, we, we, okay, Moon Knight, Wait. Doctor Strange, Miss Marvel, Thor: Love and Thunder, She Hulk. What if season two? Halloween special. What if season, uh, Secret Invasion Confirm. hasn't been uh, given a date yet? It says at likely after November release. So we'll uh, on Wikipedia, see. it says it says TB, uh, TBA. TBA. Yeah, I mean, I guess people are spec- speculating, but mm-hmm. maybe, be- maybe maybe it'll come out before because, like I said, there's a huge gap in between. So yeah, we're knows? getting Miss Marvel and She Hulk in between. Uh, uh, yeah, in between a Multiverse of Madness. No, we're getting a uh, Miss Marvel in between Multiverse of Madness and uh, Wakanda Forever, and then in between Wakanda Forever and. Uh, what was the other one? The Marvels. The Marvels. We're getting a, a She-Hulk. Because hmm. we're getting She-Hulk. Hers isn't in fall? I thought it was oh, in fall. Oh, no. It hers. doesn't even have like a set month yet. It's yeah, just it just 2022. Says yeah. Well, we'll just have to wait as and time. See? Yeah, time, the, the march of time. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm be so disappointed when I die because I'm be like, damn, there was some Marvel stuff I needed to watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I missed the last episode. I know, because if you think about it, there's people like, yeah, I saw Endgame. And it's like, well, now we got Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man, No Way Home. Yes. And that, they died right after Endgame. Straight up. They had two days to live and they Sorry, got an guys. early preview of Endgame and then they at least, make it to No Way Home. At least they didn't have to watch Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> True, <laughs> and, and then if you let's say if they're like, oh yes, I saw uh, Spider Man, and then you die, well, Multiverse of Madness, man. Multiverse and if you die, mur- so much stuff, content. So basically, let's live forever. That's, that's that the end thing. That's correct. the end thing. Yeah. All of us live forever. There's not going to be no wrap up because there's still billions of storylines. I'm gonna just keep watching everything forever. Mm-hmm. I will not die until I see my Green Lantern movie or series or <gasps> done. Dude, right. hold on, hold on. I want to talk to you about this. I want to talk to you about this. What do we got? Hold on, you're tr- you're tricking you're tricking a core memory. Go. So so, uh, they. Who's they? Them? They them? Yes. They them's them? In the the Young Justice TV series, yes. they brought back Razor from the Green Lantern animated fo- uh, TV show they used to like a lot. Ooh. Remember when the they, Red Lantern? Yeah, the Red Lantern. Except, you know, at the end of that 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 TV show, he got cured. He, he, he became a Blue Lantern. Yeah, yeah, he got cured. In this show, they pick up right where they left off from that. So he's still a Blue Lantern. He's still a Blue Lantern. He comes back. Wait, no spoilers. I gotta watch Young Justice now. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got hi- you got me hyped now. Uh, I'm gonna watch Young Justice, and it's it's on HBO Max, right? It's on HBO Max. Is it the 2022 one? It's that's the just coming up. Yeah, yeah, it's this one that's just barely like the season, season four that's coming oh, out. Oh, I gotta watch all season one through three now. Yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, we're gonna. Oh, I, 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 uh, we'll wait. give you a little bit of hint. My, the worst season <clears throat> transition, the one that I hate the most, is from season one to season two. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it, it was so difficult for me to, to move past the uh, certain that, that, that transition. Yeah. Okay. But okay. aside from that, it's just. Mwah, gold. Alrighty then. Gold. I'm gold. bringing back some lantern hype. Um, but I, I do want to watch. So, so I want to see them done well, you know, because I, I one of the things that I liked a lot about Justice League was the fact that Steppenwolf and Darkseid, presumably, because Steppenwolf is, um, you know, his fucking the guy who talks on, on his behalf, mm-hmm. is that they consider lanterns a threat. That's I, I said this so many times, but he goes, no Kryptonians, no lanterns. So they knew that green lanterns are a threat because it is canonically the most powerful weapon in, in the, the universe, universe, limited only by the user's willpower. So if you're able to master it, you can do yeah. anything Each you want. Each of the rings are only limited by the, by the corresponding uh, exactly. emotion that they're feeling. Exactly. So you can be as powerful as the writers need you to be or, or not, but mm-hmm. you, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, that's it's just super arbitrary basically he threw that 
Mar- uh, Zack Snyder. Th- I said Mark Snyder. Mark Zach, Snyder. Zack Snyder threw that bone out to me. He was like, "No lanterns." I was like, "Yeah, that's fucking right." You guys know that the lanterns are the most powerful fucking people yeah, in the world. Because in the story, one of the people that 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 ended up uh, removing the the their earlier invasion was uh, Green Lantern. No, he dies. Remember? No, in the in the the Zack Snyder cut or whatever, they they kind of show a, a oh, earlier when they chase invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they first chase them off, it's a Green Lantern fucking. Well, the, it's the Green Lantern helping, but he gets killed because he gets his hand cut off and then stabbed. But yeah. in the original one, he just kind of went, uh, uh, and I'm like, what? But when they slice off the hand, I was like, oh, mm-hmm. th- you fucking got yeah, me. Yeah, you got him. But also like. I feel like he was probably not as experienced because, you know, usually they have their fucking like the the Green Lantern has their fucking armor like it's it's their force field or whatever, you know, Mm. but hey, if you can just cut someone's arm off and that's it, like, oh, okay, whatever, you know, unless unless their blade was able to cut through force fields, in which case. I I mean, like I said, I don't know. But remember, he like Darkseid is fucking powerful, of course, of course, and. Yeah, one Green Lantern is not going to be able to. Exactly. Yeah, you have to be like the you have to be Hal Jordan or no one. Or Kyle Rayner. Kyle, or I was going to say, uh, White Laner. Or, yeah, Kyle Rayner. Or Kyle Rayner. Kyle, Kyle Rayner basically turned uh, into Jesus. What's, what's, his, what's his face? Uh, John Stewart? Yeah, no, well, John Stewart, but uh, John Stewart loses his ring, right? Um, I mean, they all come and go. You know, oh, you know the superhero yeah, 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 game. Yeah, yeah. Ever since Spider Man was like, I'm Spider Man no more. Now it's like, I'm Batman no more. I'm Superman no more. I'm Green Lantern no more. And. Everyone do no, it. but like, Everyone like, like the council took his. Oh, I don't know. I think the, in the latest thing, like the the council took his, his ring away because he used it to save, uh, like his uh, his like girlfriend or wife or something. I'm Vixen? Nah, something I don't like know. that. I don't know. I'm getting like half ass remembered. I yeah, no, no, I think that was Kyle Rayner, but with Vixen. But I, I don't, I don't know. And Kyle Rayner was. I, I feel like he was technically the strongest because he's yeah. the only one who had, um, Io, the fucking um, embodiment of willpower combined with him to become the uh like the the good version of parallax i'm gonna say because you know when when parallax takes over how jordan he yeah. has a tr- when he's like evil but when he absorbs io then he becomes the most powerful green lantern um but again like i said as powerful as the writers want to make him but he's still when you have yeah, the embodiment yeah. of him in there well he's also the only green lantern that became a white lantern no that's also he mastered all of the other rings yeah that was that was pretty impressive and it was funny when he when he puts all of them on but he doesn't have the real orange lantern ring on he's like a gray lantern and he's since he hasn't mastered them he's like and he's like this one must be killing you inside and then he finally masters them um and then he turns into an actual white lantern um <sighs> so good pretty cool pretty yeah. cool um speaking about the flash have you seen the Kill the Justice League game? Kill the Justice League? No, no, no. It looks. I'm rewatching the entirety of the Flash TV show right now. I'm yeah. On, uh, I, I just got to Crisis <clears throat> on Infinite Earths. Damn, you're behind. No, no. Yeah. But I, I was gonna say the the video game. It's Kill the Justice League, right? Where mm. you Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Where you're playing as a Suicide Squad. Um, Brainiac has invaded, and presumably he's taken over the Justice League. So you gotta like kill them, right? But it's hilarious. The guy, um, you have fucking Deadshot. And he's, like, aiming at him, and then he shoots, and then, he, of course, he misses, right? And then Flash is like, really? Why don't you just mail me the bullet? Because it's, like, it's like <laughs> effectively the same. So fucking good. Um, I, can't, I can't wait to... I, I, honestly, I'm kind of hyped for that game, too, because I want to play it. Um, and Kill the Justice League. Kill we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes with Captain yeah, Boomerang yeah. and such. But, that, like, that little liner is like, really? Just mail me the bullet. Like, <laughs> why don't you just mail me the bullet? It, it, it's effectively, effectively the same Effectively it's Honestly? effectively it's the same speed effectively to him to obviously him, to him. To him, it's the same why don't you just mail me the bullet <laughs> oh, that's uh, that was a fucking good one um yeah but yeah um, but yeah you yeah, know i think that's what we got yeah that's all we got the only complaint okay so i uh, so i'm oh, watching wait, wait. the flash right yeah and uh, the one, you, one of you the, already skipped past felicity and friends <laughs> one, one of the one of the, the the worst things in that uh in that show, to to in my opinion, is the fact that stuff that shouldn't hit the Flash hits them all th- the hits time. Hits them all it's the fucking time. Because he's distracted, time. man. No, he, there's times. No, no, no. Distracted. There's times where canonically in the scene he's not distracted. He's completely focused. And they're like, mm. yeah, and then they still hit him for like no reason. Like he's he's like like watching in like super speed flash time and that's that's why the meme is uh, i'm the fastest man alive barry i'm faster than you i gotta be faster than him yay now i'm faster than him i'm the fastest man alive barry i'm faster than you now i gotta be faster than him. okay i'm the fastest man alive barry i'm faster than you fuck yeah it's weird it's oh and that's also it's all that's the other thing i had it's weird that that's a meme because to my knowledge there's only three times which is weird but 
it's still Thawne, like, Thawne, Godspeed. Go, no, Godspeed flesh? was caught so quickly. Like multiple Godspeeds were caught in like the course of a summer. But they're able to like suck out his fucking energy and catch him. They're able to catch him enough to fucking suck out his energy, which is stupid also. Yeah, but yes, that, that is kind of stupid. But they he still catches them all easily. Like right before Crisis, he, like, he spends he an entire summer yeah, yeah, yeah. catching like five different Godspeeds off screen. Just no yeah. problem at all. He's like, pile them in here. The, the, exactly. The only three that like actually I have outsped him is like Thon, Zoom, and... Uh, Who's the other one? Oh, his future self, right? Yeah, uh, 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 Savitar. Savitar, yeah. Savitar. Those are the only three people that have been faster than him. Aside from that, all of his other villains don't compete with him based on speed. But the mental ones, those make sense. Because you don't have Devo. to move. Devo or when they go was, was the mental one. It was they, like a big portion. Yeah, yeah. The monitor, of course, reality change, yeah. whatever. Uh, oh, you're gonna, oh, you haven't caught up, so you'll see more, more people mm -hmm. like that. But yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the, the reg there, regular punches and stuff are stupid. Regular punches and stuff are stupid, but like, like, I don't know, like stuff that that like, like there's times where like just a random person is just like kind of like at his like periphery and they just whack him in the head <laughs> for no reason. It's like, do you understand that your hand hey, moving Flash, like this? He has a two by four. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's like, oh. it's like. Like he's not even distracted. He's knocked out. And he's like, not distracted. He's like what? right here staring, like just dead straight, like just kind of <laughs> casually talking, and this just, whoop, ah, and it's like, that's that that it should in universe. I'm not even talking about like how in the comics, like he can perceive <clears throat> time in like atto seconds or whatever, yeah, yeah. or whatever bullshit they have there. Just in the TV show, he's canonically moving constantly fast enough that like. He can casually speak and like just chill out for a second while a nuclear bomb is exploding yeah. in his face, yeah. and, like fast enough to perceive. To he's moving fast enough that the exploding nuclear bomb isn't moving. It's just, just like not even not even moving closer towards him. It's just. But a two by four. Well, a two by four. Nah. Death you. A two two by fours. Two by fours. No, they're immune. They're immune. Two it's by fours just, too much. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's it's so dumb. It, it, one of the, one of the canonically main reasons why he was having so much trouble against uh, Weather Witch was uh, was she because was too hot for him. All his blood flowed to his boner, <laughs> away from his legs. Maybe, but the, the 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 main thing was that like that the lightning at command was moving too fast for him. What I in mean, the show? Because technically, lightning's moving at the speed of light, right? He's not moving the speed of light. He's moving the speed of sound. It's so as annoying. As fast or as slow as the writers want him it's to be. It's so I annoying know. in the show. It's all like, Riverdale now. It's, it's all drama. Riverdale now. It's <laughs> so bad. It's it's so annoying yeah. that like, like, uh, it's like, what do you mean you got the drop on him? Like at least with like like, <laughs> boss, I got the drop on him with a two by four. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. What, what do you mean you got the drop on him? I don't know, boss, but the two by four hit him right in the forehead. Is he knocked out? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Honestly, fucking, fucking brothers in Christ. Like, tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> Flash, Barry Allen, my brother in Christ, you've outrun nuclear bombs. Why are you what? allowing them to hit you? Exactly. He's getting. <laughs> I almost He's getting choked. Hit for no reason like it's like th th he he's like walking around talking like he's like casing the whole place like at least with green arrow it's like it's like okay he hit them he had no idea they were coming at him like absolutely zero actually got the drop on him where like he has zero idea that that oliver could have ever shot things at him but he's going into like an active like crime scene with like a person he knows is trying to hurt him and, and then he just so hit him with the two by hit, four. He gets hit with an ice blast. Uh, yeah. So ice, my brother in Christ. Uh, ice is not faster than the speed of sound. <sighs> it's so annoying. It's so annoying. There's no way that any of these cannot justify this to me at all. No, completely impossible. <laughs> like how? 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 My brother. It, it gets Christ. it gets worse. It gets it gets more annoying. It gets more fucking annoying. It gets worse when, and worse when that season. nuclear bomb episode uh, actually happened. Because oh no 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 the courtroom. Sorry the courtroom with, with when he's facing off against the bow. Sorry. Uh, where like they introduce like the physical concept of him being able to perceive time faster than everyone else into the show. They call it flash time. Where yeah. he's basically moving so fast that 
the any sound he makes, no one can hear it because it it goes at the speed of the speed force, right? And like how fast he's going, uh, and, you know, like and he can do whatever, basically whatever he wants. He's pri he's essentially invisible, and he can still face through objects in this time. So basically, there's nowhere in the world where he can't go or be at any second. And this is the the physical manifestation of him being able to perceive time different when he's running, quote unquote, or when he's using his power. How is a two by four gonna fucking hit him? Like, they, like, like the one of the ways that like uh, that like uh, he gets caught one time is they inject him like with a sedative, <laughs> and he's like, uh, oh, you got me, oh fuck, and it's like, how, boss, we can bash him in with a two by four now that we got him with the sedative. How'd you get him with the sedative? Don't worry about that. That's not important. Exactly, not important. exactly. It's like, how. M He's perceiving time fast enough to basically make the universe stand still. Literally. Anything going at any speed is going at zero. To him. To him. Just mail him the bullet. Literally. 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 You mail him lightning. It's essentially the same speed to him. He's <laughs> mail going him that nuclear blast. Exactly. Like, Fuck. bruh. The, the, ha, it's, it's so bad. I know they have to generate conflict, but at, like, make it believable. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's at least like with the the, the brain ones, right? Like when, when, like with the actually with um, with the last villain right before Crisis. Yeah. Uh, the the zombie dude, the the doctor dude that like uh like uh get blood like infects other people. Yeah, the blood vampire, infections. Yeah. That makes sense. That's that's a good villain, because not only does Flash not actually want to hurt him, like he's not a complete villain the whole way through. Uh, Flash gets infected not because uh. The other dude infected him, but because someone he cares about got infected, so he had no choice but to help him with the blood transfusion. Exactly, he's like so. So he got infected. He got injected with something because he chose to. Which I mean, if Flash chooses to get infected with something, yeah, he of knew course. he had AIDS. He took the chance. He, exactly. he took the chance. He rolled the dice. Exactly, exactly. You know, sometimes you just gotta gotta take go for it. Gotta get that tainted blood. Yeah. So at least there it makes sense. But coming up behind Flash with like like your hand like right here. I got him. Ah, ah. Your Flash, my brother in Christ, phased through him. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. My brother in Christ. My oh, brother that, in Christ. That's the god damn it. Shit. Like my brother in crisis. <laughs> my brother in crisis. Arrow. My brother in crisis, just move. Honestly, Dude, oh my okay, god. Okay, because like they they're really trying to make a show like oh by the time Flash noticed they were only like half a centimeter away from injecting him. Yeah. That half a centimeter might as well be a mile to the Flash. A mile. That half a centimeter, they're not. That's not happening. He notices the needle. <sighs> nope. Okay. So what were you doing again? <laughs> Instead, he's just like, w w oh no, normal speed for me, I guess. Yeah. Uh, like it makes no sense. No it's sense. Too much. Oh well. oh, well. Everybody go watch Flash. Go watch Multiverse Madness next week. We'll yeah. be back. I'm, I'm and, watching uh, New Girl next. After these me after messages. After these Mexicans. <laughs> we'll, be, after these Mexicans. <laughs> we'll be back after these Mexicans. We're broke till Friday. Goodbye, my friends. We'll see you next week. Now I'm a go and beat my meat. And we're broke till Friday. Bye, my friends. We'll see you next week. And now I'm going to go and beat my meat. And we're broke till Friday.